Hey fellow explorers, it's me, Mario. Today we're going to talk about Flask. Flask is an almost unassuming item, which can prove like the best card in your deck, depending on what else your deck is doing. This card costs 2 coins, provides 1 point, but that's almost useless because you're always going to exile it. And it also provides one boat in the top left corner as an icon, but again, you're not going to use it. So, let's talk about the ability. You can exile the flask to draw three cards. Let's talk a bit about exiling cards in general. Like, when you buy an item and then you exile it, you want to squeeze more value out of it than normal. Since the average item that you get on the first or second round, you're going to use it three times, or at least two times, depending on your deck. While the Flask and many other exile, Exiling Themselves cards are going to get used one time only, so you really want to make them uh, worth by squeezing as much value as you possibly can out of them. So, the Flask provides you three cards. The way Arnak is built, uh, three cards should be averaging around a value of three resources, and 6. A value between the two. Depending on what your deck has inside it, it might be closer to 6 or closer to 3. So you should just take Flask when you're pretty sure you can get a value of at least 4, possibly 5 out of it. How do you do that? You can do that by exiling cards, like the Fear cards and some of the starter cards, like Funding and Exploration cards. Or you can purchase a flask and the round after, when you draw it, purchase items before playing the flask. That can be tricky, it's not always easy to do, but if you can pull it off, that's basically amazing. You're gonna get the value out of the items that you're purchasing this round, the same round. It's not common, actually. It's better than an artifact at that point. That said, the flask has some problems. I think I've already talked about timing a bit when talking about the airplane card. Timing is paramount with a flask. You really want to get the flask when your deck is ready for it. Uh, I think some people might try to purchase it on the first round. I'm not that kind of player. I think I want the flask to deliver consistently, so I want to get good items into my deck, then purchase flask, and then have like an amazing round in which I explode, normally like the fourth or the fifth round. Because the way it works is I'm going to buy items that provide me a value of two, like, I don't know, the boat, but there are many, the god pen, any kind of cards that provide like two resources. It's going to be amazing. And then when I play the flask, that's going to draw me into those cards. So the value that I can get out of it, it's going to be amazing. I mean, even just drawing three cards, it's not bad. It's a value of three. But remember that the flask is going to exile itself. So it's just better to get more out of it. Another thing that might be a problem. In the late rounds, sometimes you find other ways to draw cards from your deck. Sometimes from the research truck. Sometimes by defeating a guardian sometimes by other items, and you really want to be able to draw three cards. Like, you need at least eight cards in your deck, but I think that hovering around like 12 cards is probably better, just because later on in the game, which is when I plan to use the flask most of the time, you really want to draw a lot of cards, and you need those cards into your deck. Like, this card is not going to do anything if your deck is already almost empty. And you don't want to choose a bad path on the research track just to avoid uh, like the draw a card reward. Because you know you're going to draw cards with the flask. That's not the best value you can get out of it. So, yeah. The flask can be the best card in your deck if you have a big enough deck, and if you have a high-value deck. This is something... The good thing is that this is something you already want to do in Arnak. You already want a pretty good value deck. You don't always want a big deck, actually. Sometimes trimming the deck with exiling cards, it's better. 
But if you can get a long enough deck with enough good value cards, Flask is going to deliver. So I normally don't purchase this card on the first round. Like in this situation, I would take the airplane and even the fishing road. I'm going to talk about it in the future, but over it. But I'm going to take the Flask maybe already on the second round if I see that I can purchase a lot of cards. But I think that getting it on the third or on the fourth round, it's going to be the best to explode in the late game. That's my opinion. I know other people might think about it in another way, but that's what I think. So try it out. The flask, good item. It's going to quench your thirst and it's going to help you win. Try it out.